The mission of our program is to increase access to health care for patients and families in rural communities. So our focus is on training full scope family physicians able to care for patients across all ages and stages and to be leaders in their communities. As the sole program in our hospital, there is no limit of opportunities that our residents will have in being able to train and care for patients. We have a lot of very passionate faculty at the hospital and here in our clinic in Winstead who are very excited about training residents and we're ready to give residents the best opportunities possible to meet their personal goals. You know, we are a newer program and in that we're very flexible, uh, we're very adaptable and nimble and we're able able to use our resources to help train residents the best that they that they can be. The culture at Charlotte Hungerfield is very friendly. Uh, we have a very small collegial uh, group of uh, medical staff. Uh, I think over the last few years we have increased the size of our medical staff and, and with that has come some uh, younger, uh, more curious minds, if you will, or, you know, and it's really changed the nature, I think, of, of the medical staff, much more engaged with teaching much more willing to teach. We are very fortunate, particularly at the Winstead site, to have this new beautiful building that was just established. And even just within this one building, we have access to an emergency room, physical therapy, occupational therapy. We have Quest Diagnostics throughout the region, which makes access to laboratory testing readily available, including in some of our offices within the Northwest region. And then fortunately, we have a plethora of specialists that travel through not just this site in Winstead, but also at Charlotte Hungerford Hospital that range from general surgery to robotic surgeries that are up and coming, including in obstetrics and gynecology. Everyone from the program leadership to the hospital leadership to the healthcare system to the sponsoring institution are all 100% committed to the mission of this program and I think you don't find that everywhere and it really makes us stand out. It's a, a rural family medicine program and so they might have to be able to do a little bit more than you would if you were at a larger institution where you had access to every specialty under the sun and so I can help them learn how to do some of the stuff that they might not otherwise be comfortable doing. The types of surgical you know, cases here that I, I see are, are standard surgeries of gallbladders, appendixes, hernias, lumps and bumps. But we also do colons, uh, thyroids, um, you know, a, a little bit broader spectrum than just standard general surgery. I was blown away by what I've got, had to do and gotten to do since I've started my work here in Charlotte versus what I did at four years at a large quaternary academic institution. I've done more procedures in two years than I did in my whole four years of residency. I've seen sicker patients. I've dealt with stranger circumstances. I mean. It's just so interesting because you're, it's really a, a reflection of the catch area and the communities we serve and how they don't have any other resources for hospitals, so we have to see everything. And so the exposure you'll get here is beyond what you would even see you know, in a larger institution, I would argue, and you get to be more hands-on with it. So it's a, it's a huge, huge benefit that we have up here. What I'm most excited about in teaching family medicine residents is um, giving them training in psychiatry where they may experience in their practices and careers. Most psychiatric patients that are in crisis will have contact with their family medicine doctor even before they are able to see a psychiatrist. So helping the family medicine field kind of get a better understanding and idea of psychiatry, things to look out for, um, I think would be valuable in treating our patients. Having residents around has brought a curiosity uh, to the organization that we didn't have prior. Uh, and it's also been able, we were able to attract uh, younger attendings who are interested in teaching. And more importantly, we expose, uh, we expose these residents to Charlotte Hungerford Hospital in the community in hopes that we can, they can one day come back and work for us. You don't really think of Connecticut as a rural state, right? It's the fourth most population dense state in the country, and yet we do have a thriving rural population, both in the northwest portion of the state as well as in the eastern portion. So it's a unique opportunity to practice in a place that's you know, rural, but also urban adjacent. And uh, so it's, it's accessible. It's a great place to work. It's a small community hospital that provides care to a very underserved population. And, um, most of the people working here actually belong to this community, 
So it's, it's, it's a very, very loving environment. I want to see somebody who takes the passion of medicine back to its roots, that wants to see themselves learning as much as possible in a large hospital system, and then taking those skills, practicing them here in a smaller hospital system, and then transitioning that out to practice in a small community where you can have maximal impact on patients' lives and families and communities in ways that are more difficult in other practice communities. I am a complete implant into Connecticut and this community embraced me wholeheartedly. It is a very small town feel with the access and availability of healthcare resources of a big city, which is something that I absolutely love. I cherish the relationships that I build with my patients here and I feel humbled that I get to experience wonderful parts of their lives with them from you know them getting married to them having grandkids they really make you part of their family but as their doctor you know that you are giving them access to health care here that makes you feel comfortable and confident that they're getting the best resources that they need our mission is to recruit and train family physicians who want to practice in rural areas so no matter where they land or end up they will have the skills and tools that they need to practice holistic, evidence-based, full-scope family medicine. We always hope and we always welcome our graduates to stay within our community, but ultimately they'll be well-trained wherever they go.